All right, everyone, welcome back. So first and foremost, I've had a lot of new subscribers join the channel, and I just wanted to say a massive thank you to anyone that has done that. Um, it truly means a lot that so many people have related to that Hermitcraft video and uh, have decided to stick around as well. That is just, um, you know, one of the most flattering things when having a YouTube channel is when you make a video that gets some sort of attention. But the fact that you guys are nice enough to stick around and watch more videos really means a lot to me. So I just wanted to say thank you uh, before we get started today, um, which is what this video is going to be about. I assume by the time that this video comes out, I will be near 500 or at 500 subscribers because um, I've been refreshing the page and the number just keeps going up <laughs> with that video. So um, I'm not going to take anything for granted. Uh, obviously, that could stop tomorrow. Um, uh, but for anyone that has subscribed, again, massive thank you. Uh, it truly does mean a lot. Um, so, uh, yeah, what I planned on doing today was building a statue. And I thought it would be really cool if we built, uh, like, an LA statue slash fountain thing right here. And that is going to be our little monument uh, to celebrate 500 subscribers, um, which is just awesome. I can't believe I'm even saying that <laughs> because uh, literally like three days ago, we were at like 20 and I hadn't uploaded a video in like over a year. So <laughs> yeah, it's crazy that I'm saying that, but uh, this is going to be our little spot that we built it. I already built it in my test world in creative. So I have a good idea of what we're going to make. And uh, it's actually, it's really cute. It looks really cool. So um, I guess let's just go ahead and let's get started. So basically, I'll explain my idea to you guys. I'm not going to show you the creative world one because I want you to see it uh, as we build it. I think it's going to be cooler if we do it that way. Um, but I will build the fountain art right now because I just want to see if I have enough space for it. So um, how I did this in creative was I did five and then I did two or not like that. Sorry, uh, I built a circle. So uh, the two, the one and then two and then five like that right there. So it looks like we are gonna be a little short on space, which is fine. We can just uh, make some more. I've probably got some dirt that we can put there. Okay, now it's stopped raining, lovely. So this is the statue uh, template that I was thinking. I do wanna change up these blocks quite a bit here. So I'm just gonna like mine out random ones and replace them with polished andesite. I want it to be a little more of a random pattern uh, because that's gonna allow us to have some texture within the fountain. So I'm just gonna like uh, do something like that. All right, so uh, obviously the statue is gonna be in a lay. So we need to build an a lay. And um, I've worked out the dimensions in my creative world to be able to do this. Um, so it's gonna be a little tricky, I think. I just need to measure the center of the fountain. So we'll place some dirt here so we can find the center, which is gonna be this block. So we're gonna base everything of this Alay creature um, off of this block right here. So let's do that. Why am I holding torches? I just noticed that. We'll just hold on to that. All right. <laughs> a lot of you guys are also commenting on that video that my inventory is massively uh, disorganized and cluttered. And trust me, I know. <laughs> I don't know why I have such a problem with that, but I definitely do. Um, I thought that was really funny, whoever commented that. All right. So I don't know how high up I'm going to go in the air. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but uh, I guess we can go down. I've got scaffolding on me, so we can just get back up. Uh, is that a good height for it to start? I think so. That would probably put it around right here. It's going to be quite large. Um, I think that's a good, yeah, I think that's a good height to start from. So we'll do that. I'm actually, I'm going to go down. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to, I'm going to do this. Uh, no, I am going to go down one. <laughs> it's a little indecisive there. Um, so we're going to use it out of copper because as you can see behind us, uh, the copper turns blue and uh, obviously the LA is blue. So uh, I'm going to do a mix of having some of them waxed and some of them not waxed like I have right there because I think that's going to look really cool for us. And so what we need to do is our dimensions are going to be three by three for uh, the LA's body. And then the actual uh, head is five by five. So um, I'm just going to do, uh, I'm not going to fill in the middle. That way we can save some blocks and I should have enough to do this whole thing. And so now we just need to do uh, the head. So this is going to be the LA's head. So I'm just uh, lining up the five by five box now. So we did the three by three. So we can just go around the perimeter here and that'll make it five by five for us like so. And then we have to go up four blocks. So 
one, two, three, four, because that'll be five and five. So one, two, three, four. And then we have to make the eyes. So the eyes on the allay, um, if you look up a Google image, are uh, you can see it has oh fallen off. Uh, it has five pixels, right? And so the five pixels would correspond with these five blocks right here. And the eyes are uh, two pixels long and they're separated by one block. So that would be the middle and the two eyes are like uh, so. And so now, once we fill this in, this should have the face of an alay. Yes, it does. Okay, so uh, what I'm basically picturing now that we have the basic structure is that the alay is going to have like his little leg thing. I don't know what it is. Um, he's kind of like a floating creature, right? He doesn't really have legs, but he has like this little thing tailing off here. And then he's got these lovely little angel wings. So I'm going to make nice big angel wings for him since this is a nice statue. And then I think I'm going to give him horns as well. I don't know why I did that in the creative world and it looked really cool. So I'm going to give him like these diorite horns and a big diorite angel wing out here. And then I'm going to make his arms holding some sort of a staff. And that'll be like our celebration for 500 subs. So in the actual uh, finish build is I kind of rounded his body off a little bit. And that's just because it's a little better uh, visually if the stuff is rounded off. So um, I'm going to have to look at where I did that. I don't think I did the bottom, but I did do the top of his head like that. I remember so. We'll just make some scaffolding so we can get up there. Speaking of Hermitcraft, uh, B-dubs has really got me on the scaffolding wave. I can't stop using this stuff. So uh, that is the meta right now, apparently. Um, I'm really in to the scaffolding. It's actually quite a useful block. It, it wasn't really like big. I don't remember a lot of people using scaffolding all that much, but ever since that Hermitcraft episode, like uh, I don't remember what it was. It was like episode two or three where he was selling the scaffolding. Like I was like, you know what? I'll give it a try. And it actually is really, really nice to use um, once you get the hang of it and how it, uh, how it functions and whatnot. So um, I'm going to use stairs along the top here because I think it looks better if his head is rounded off like that. So uh, we'll do that. And uh, of course, we use our elytra uh, a lot around here. So we want to fill this in because we don't want to see inside of there. I forgot a dirt block in there. Well, that's going to be in there forever. Um, so let's have a look at that and see. All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think that I think honestly rounding it off makes him look a little more like cute. <laughs> That's the only word I can think to explain that. So um, instead of having a really boxy head, I've done the stairs to kind of round off that uh, forehead a little bit, which makes him look a little more stubby. Um, so now we need to do his arms. So this arm is just going to come down like normal. I got to think about how to place this here. So it's going to be like this and then once more and that should be the one arm for him and then is that how i did that in my other world i don't even remember all right so i've looked at it here and the way that i did this was uh there's one inside and uh, i'm gonna have to get up there actually now that i think about it all right so now i can get up there and we can just put one over here so um i'm gonna have to put some temporary blocks down so this one has to be uh, like this, if I can get that right, there we go. So inside, outside, and then, uh, do I have my shovel on me? There we go. And so then we can go down underneath. This is why I love scaffolding is because you can shift under and that way you can reach under blocks. Whereas if you were placing with dirt, uh, I wouldn't be able to get underneath. So that's the scaffolding meta. Um, and so now this one is going to go like this. And then very important, you have to kind of round this one off. And this one has to go um, towards the inside. I'm actually going to place it underneath um, because that's going to make like this little uh, armpit area. <laughs> that's the only way I can explain that. So now we're going to place our final stair, which is going to be this. And that's going to be his hand because he's going to be holding a staff in his hand. So you can see that actually makes it look like he has like a thumb in a hand. And I really like that. So now we need to make the... Um, the bottom piece, which I think uh, I do need to go back and look again because I want to get this exactly the way that I built it. OK, so we're going to place a front facing stair and then we're going to place a 
uh, a downward facing stair and then a backwards facing stair, right? So that gives him his uh, little floating thing. Now what we can do is uh, we need to round off the other sides of the body so we can take this stuff back because this stuff is gonna be uh, rounded like that for him. And uh, the bottom of his head can stay the same um, because I actually tried both uh, and I prefer it being like this. All right, so I don't know how I'm going to do this in survival. Uh, this was much easier and creative because I could fly around. Uh, this is going to be a little tricky. I think I'm going to have to stand on top of the wall. So basically I did three like this and then I extended it outwards. I'm going to extend it outwards two. Then I'm going to hop up here and then I'm going to do it like this. I'm So I went out two. I'm going to go out one and then over one and then up one out one over one up one out one and then over one and out one maybe is that too much and i'll go up i'm gonna go up two for this one and then down and do it like that there we go uh okay i need to check yeah i think that's pretty good that 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 seems pretty decent right there. So let's build it on the other side now. I think I could take out that little corner piece, though. I don't know. I have to see. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. That, that's pretty good. Maybe. Okay, I just had an idea. I didn't do this on the original one, but maybe if I, like, extend it down like that, I think that would actually be pretty cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. I, I really like that. So uh, I was thinking now we could make his little staff. So uh, we're going to go here. Not like that. That would be uh, him trying to spear us, which is not what we want. We want to go down like that and uh, have it facing upwards. We could put something on the bottom there. I'm not sure what, but um, I want to put an end rod at the top. So uh, first I need to get up there. Do we want it to go above his head? I think so. I think it would look better. Oh, jeez. I think it would look better if it was a lot taller than him. I have to sneeze. Oh, oh man. Sorry. We'll see. No, I think that looks fine, actually. That, that, that looks totally, totally normal. So now um, is the tricky part. I didn't think about, like, um, how he was going to be... Uh, secured to the ground obviously if he's like in a fountain or something um you know he can't just be floating there because that wouldn't make any sense so uh what i think i might do is get some andesite we probably have some in here yes we do and i'll turn this into stairs and i think i'm gonna place uh i'm gonna place some temporary box first uh, we'll find his middle which is right there and then what I'm going to do is go out two blocks from each side and then replace that there. This is just so I can calculate it and line it up nicely. And I'm going to make a nice little pedal stool, pedestal, pet, pedestal. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to make a nice little pedestal for him to sit on. So we'll do this, and I think this is actually going to look quite nice if we do the uh, the two uh, stairs facing each other like so. Uh, I think it would look better if we rounded them off. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. All right, and we can fill in the top like this. Now, this is what I am wondering. I don't know how to secure him down in a way that looks normal. Uh Potentially we could use iron bars because we just used the chain right there. So I don't want to put more chains. So I think if we use iron bars, that will help um, kind of like, how do you even make iron bars? Uh, like this maybe? No. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> You're about to figure this out with me. I, don't, I have no idea how to make iron bars. Oh, like that. Okay. Uh, so... I think if we make him supported by iron bars like this, that'll look more realistic and like he is, you know, secured down by something at least. Um, 
And so he still looks like he's floating, right? But you have those iron bars there to realistically hold this whole copper statue up. So the, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give him little horns because I did that uh, in my original build. And I think that looks really cool. So um, I'm just going to go up there and give him little tiny horns on the top. And uh, that'll be it. All right. So I'm just going to go out like this. One, two, just like that should be fine. <laughs> yeah, what do you guys, uh, <laughs> what do you think of the horns? Let me know in the comments below, should the horns stay or not? Um, I think they're cool. I like them. I don't know if I love them, but I do like them. I think you know what it is. I think it looks much better when it's um, uh, oxidized and it's not this color. And so the white will mesh much better with that, uh, that green like that is right there. Um, so we'll just have to wait for the statue to oxidize like that. And so now uh, what I'm going to do is design the fountain. This is uh, usually my favorite part. I enjoy the, doing this type of stuff. So I've got lots and lots of walls here. So we can place those alternating like this. And then um, I haven't, I don't know. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do. Okay, uh, this is how I'm going to do it. So I am going to go like this. And I'm going to build a pillar out like this. Right? So we have this nice little pillar here. And then the water is going to be on this outside block. It's going to go out like that. And that's going to fill the fountain up. And I think that'll look really nice. All right. Yeah, I think that I think that looks really nice. That's very... Um, I don't know. It's, it's just very cool looking. So I'm going to place slabs now uh, on every corner. All right, and that's a nice little floor. Uh, lastly, I just want to put some shroom lights in there. Uh, if I have any extras, yes, I do. Let's grab, um, I think four of them should be fine. And let's put them like right here, right where these, uh, right where these towers are. All right, how's that? Um, yeah, I think that's nice. I think that's nice. I don't think I want anything there, though. I don't know why, but this this specific one right here is really bothering me. I'd rather just... Yeah, I think it's better if I have the three right there. I just prefer having that, that empty space in the middle. Um, so now I'm going to turn uh, this into um, the area where the sign is going to be. Um, but this is just going to give a nice little accent, a nice highlight. And... Uh, Maybe some leaves as well, some bushes. Uh, these have pink in it as well. I'm trying to think of where I could put this. Maybe like, I don't know, is that? Okay, so this is what I was thinking was I could put that underneath. Yeah, that looks so cool. I really like that, yeah. So um, that's what I had originally planned to do. So we'll put those underneath and that makes it look like it's some sort of uh, a flowering bush, which is really nice and once this is all finished and it's oxidized in that um greenish uh copper color that is going to look really really nice so uh yeah i really enjoy that i i i'm really happy with how that came out that looks pretty cool so um i think the last thing we need to do is make the sign right this statue is dedicated to 500 subscribers and let's put the date on here so at the time of me recording this at the time of me recording this it is april 10th so i'll put the date on here because i think that'll be cool to look back on in the future it is april 10th 2024 uh how do i do this yeah that's nice yeah, I like that. That's awesome. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, that's our build for today. The statue has been dedicated to 500 subscribers. So I assume by the time this video comes out, I will have hit that number. So um, yeah, I'm having a hard time actually saying this um, because I don't know how to word it. But I guess, um, you know, I'm just so thankful for everyone that has subscribed. I was not expecting this channel to grow this fast. Uh, it, it's gone 
you know, from 20 subscribers to 500 subscribers in like four days. Uh, so I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for that. Um, it, it's absolutely absurd how fast this has grown and I don't feel like I deserve that number. Um, so I'm insanely, insanely grateful for everyone who has, um, decided to subscribe, um, because I know it's not always the easiest thing to subscribe to a new channel, right? Uh, just you guys clicking on the video means so much to me because a lot of you, you've never heard of me before. You have no idea who I am. So, um, to give me your time during the day to watch one of my videos, it truly means a lot. So yeah, I really like how that statue came out, but yeah, uh, I just want to say, um, by the time this video goes up, I'm sure um, that we probably would have hit 500 subscribers. So I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to, uh, everyone that has contributed to the channel. Um, that it, it just means so much to me that this channel has grown so quickly. I did, absolutely did not expect that to happen. And obviously, um, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to, uh, you know, discover a new channel and uh, dedicate your time to watching the videos. So I really do appreciate that you guys are finding this entertaining and I'm trying my best to uh, keep it going for you guys. Um, and obviously uh, it just means a lot that I can share uh, my passion for Minecraft with uh, other like-minded people. So um, huge thing. If you have anything that you want to see me do in the world, please be sure to let me know so I can get on it and make a video for you guys about it. Um, because there is, uh, so many things to do in this world that I have yet to complete. So, um, yeah, I guess that's going to be it for this video again, massive, massive. Thank you. I, I can't believe how fast the channel has grown. Um, and it means the world to me that you guys are, uh, you know, continuing to support the channel. There was so many nice comments on the hermit craft video. So I, I spent all of my time reading all of them. I went through all a hundred of them at the time of uploading this video and replied to as many as I could. So thank you, uh, for all of the people that have done that and have decided to subscribe as well. Uh, it really does mean a lot. So I guess that's going to be it for this video. So, uh, yeah, again, thank you guys so, so much. I can't say that enough. You know, I could go on for, you know, another 20 videos thanking you guys for all the stuff that you've done, um, for my channel so far. So, uh, yeah, this statue, is finished it is officially dedicated to 500 subscribers april 10th 2024 that is the day that i made this video um and yeah if you have anything you want to see in the world please be sure to let me know and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out